The story of this movie starts with Pippa, who has moved into their shared house in Montreal for the first time with her boyfriend, Thomas. They plan to live together, and they are both pleased about it. At night, while having a drink, they notice that the apartment in front of their window is fully visible, drawing Pippa and Thomas's attention. The neighbors start kissing each other, continue to look at the couple in love, and criticize their behavior from their point of view. Pippa asks Thomas to stop looking at them and to respect their privacy. Thomas says that they have no problem with it and are doing it with the necessary awareness of being seen, but Pippa finally convinces Thomas. In each window, a different life is going on, and other people are in the view window of Pippa and Thomas's house, but the window overlooking the opposite house has a more interesting angle of view than the others. Pippa dresses up and chooses an attractive nightgown to tempt Thomas for their first make love experience in their new home, but discovers that Thomas is asleep and Pippa's efforts to seduce him are futile. The following day, Pippa starts a beautiful morning in the new neighborhood and goes to work with her close friend. Ari asks her about her new life together with Thomas. Pippa explains that last night she saw the next door neighbors having bang bang, they were beautiful and witnessed everything. Pippa works as an ophthalmologist's assistant and is learning and gaining experience to become a doctor. Pippa's senior doctor gives her a gift for moving to a new house and tells her that this gift is for the birds that come to drink water, and it will bring joy and happiness to her home. When Pippa returns home, she finds a beautiful drawing of Thomas on the blackboard and is delighted and installs the doctor's gift. They talk about their friendship with their new neighbors and marvel at the beauty of their lives. Pippa and Thomas realize something is wrong, and their neighbor is choking. They try to inform his wife about his condition, but she doesn't understand. Pippa asks Thomas to go to their house and help him. But his wife saves him at the last moment, and they kiss each other, relieving Pippa and Thomas that he has been saved. In the middle of the night, Pippa can't sleep and goes to the kitchen to drink water, but her attention is again drawn to the opposite window. Pippa goes further and notices that the neighbor's wife is going on a trip, and her husband sees her off by the window overlooking their house. She is completely lost in the beauty and charm of his neighbor and provokes her, but when he looks at her, the glass of water breaks. The next day, Thomas, whose job is to make music for commercials, while working, attention is drawn to the house across the street, and he notices that their neighbor, whose job is to take pictures of models, is with one of the models in the absence of his wife. It feels very intimate. When Pippa returns from work, her attention is drawn to the hunting camera behind the shop window, and she buys it. Now they are more closely investigating this man's behavior in the absence of his wife, and they find out he has invited the same person who was talking to him a little earlier to his house and wants to take a snapshot of her and give her a drink. But a little later, he provokes the girl by taking off his clothes, and at the same time, as they are making love, Pippa and Thomas also do this in a creative and new way, but Thomas, like the neighbor next door, cannot give her a happy ending. In the middle of the night, Pippa does not sleep, gets out of bed, and continues to sneak peek at her neighbor. The neighbor's wife returns from a trip and goes to his husband. Pippa realizes that they have a deep relationship with each other. The next day, in a meeting with their friends, she explains this incident to them, and among the conversations with Thomas's sister, she realizes that he could extract sound from closed spaces with a long-range microphone in the past. At home, he explains to Pippa how he can access the sound inside the house by using vibrations and passing through the reflection of the glass of the neighbor's window opposite. Still, he needs a mirror to reflect the lines of sound. Unfortunately, it does not work there, but Pippa is very determined and decides to go anonymously with Thomas to the party at their house so they can install a sound reflecting device. When they enter their neighbor's house, the moment they enter, Sebastian gets Pippa on his shoulder and takes her to the photo shoot stage, and asks Thomas to take a photo with her. Sebastian guides them on how to take a beautiful picture, and after finishing the photo shoot, he walks away without saying a word. A little later, while waiting to go to the bathroom, he discovers that Sebastian has cheated on his wife again. Pippa uses the distraction of people and, with the help of Thomas, 
installs a mirror behind one of the statues in the house, and they leave and return home. Thomas reflects the laser light on the mirror with the help of Pippa, and she finds the light reflected from the laser with initiative. Thomas makes the necessary adjustments, and they manage to hear the couple's voice. They are arguing because Juliet discovered that Sebastian went to the bathroom with some girls and cheated on her. Tired of these repeated arguments, Sebastian wants to end his relationship with Julia and divorce her. Tries to end the discussion, tells him this issue is no longer necessary to her, and tries to calm him down. But Sebastian is tired of her behavior and humiliates her and causes her glasses to break. The next day at the ophthalmologist's office, Pippa finds out Julia has come to buy glasses, and Pippa has to guide Julia in choosing a new frame to make new glasses for her. During the eye test, Julia has trouble distinguishing letters, and Pippa endures the stress of their spying on Julia's house being revealed. She examines Julia's eyes with another device to ensure no problem. After the test and in the stage of choosing glasses, they become more intimate and have a good time with each other. While leaving, Julia asks Pippa to meet her again and offers to spend the weekend with her in the sauna and hot water pool. Pippa agrees with the stress, and Julia leaves the office. While working on his advertising project, Thomas gets curious about what Sebastian says to his photography model. He adjusts his microphone, listens to what they are saying, and realizes that Sebastian is trying to seduce the photography model with his usual technique. Doesn't succeed at first, but by insisting and promising extra money, he convinces the girl to have a relationship with him. Pippa explains what happened in the office to Thomas, tells him they even dated over the weekend, and wants to inform her about his wife's unhealthy relationship. Still, Thomas tells Pippa that this has nothing to do with them. They must focus on their relationship and stop spying on their neighbor's house. Thomas asks Pippa to cancel her date with Julia, but Pippa refuses, which makes Thomas lose heart and leave the house under the pretext of buying a drink. The weekend comes, and Pippa and Julia go to the sauna club. There, Pippa tries to indirectly understand her to avoid a relationship where there is betrayal. Julia tells her that he owes everything she has in her life to her husband, and without him, she would fail in life. She praises Sebastian and considers him a successful person and a complete professional in his field of work. And she trusts him completely. Pippa is silent, and a little later, they part in front of the sauna club and go home. Now Pippa is in a relationship with these two people full-time and is constantly sneaking around in the lives of these two people and spying on Sebastian's unhealthy relationships very carefully. Pippa gets out of bed, and after setting up the listening devices, she realizes that Julia is awake and tries to connect to the printer of their house through Thomas's computer. Pippa succeeds and anonymously sends Julia a message containing Sebastian's betrayal. At first, Julia doesn't believe it, but she tells Julia that Sebastian's used condom is in the bathroom trash can. At this moment, Thomas also notices what is going on and blames Pippa for her interference and considers it too much, but Pippa is determined to scandalize Sebastian. Julia goes to the trash can at the right time and realizes the truth of this issue. Julia goes to Sebastian's room with a knife in the presence of Pippa and Thomas. A panicked Thomas tries to call the police, but Pippa dissuades him because the police arrest them for spying. Finally, Julia cannot kill Sebastian and leaves the room. Thomas, who is very angry, crushes Pippa's camera and returns to the bedroom. The following day, Thomas talks to Pippa and asks her to stop spying on the neighbor, and Pippa promises that she won't do it again after last night's dangerous incident, she won't reach for the spy camera again, and hug each other, but she realizes that something strange has happened in the neighbor's house. Julia has committed suicide. Thomas, terrified, blames Pippa for this incident, gathers his belongings, and ends his relationship with Pippa, leaving Pippa alone. Pippa sleeps alone on the bed at night. The next day, when she calls customers to deliver ready-made glasses, she encounters Julia's glasses and records the message of providing the new glasses to her with a grudge. After a few weeks, Pippa observes Sebastian's poor condition after his wife's death, 
and in an attempt to calm his conscience, she goes to a shop where Sebastian is having a drink. Pippa watches him. Sebastian notices her presence, goes to her table and talks to her. Pippa sympathizes and starts talking to Sebastian to calm him down and make him enclosed with her words. Sebastian asks Pippa to go to his house for drinks and take a snapshot as a model. Pippa agrees, and they go to Sebastian's house together. He pours Pippa a drink and asks her to attend his exhibition opening. In his usual technique, Sebastian asks Pippa to pose for the camera to take her picture. After taking several photos, Sebastian asks Pippa to take off her clothes so he can take better pictures, telling her he is a professional and trusts him. With his old technique, Sebastian took off his clothes first, and then Pippa, who was impressed by Sebastian, took off her clothes, and Sebastian took a photo of her, and after a few photos, they kissed each other and had a relationship. While she was cheating. At the same time, Thomas goes to the house with a bouquet of flowers, and when he doesn't find Pippa at home, goes to the fridge and drinks his usual drink, he pours some of his drinks for the birds. Thomas notices the new person's presence in Sebastian's house, and when he sees them with the camera, he realizes that Pippa is cheating on him. The following day when Pippa wakes up in Sebastian's arms. He returns home and finds that Thomas has hanged himself and is dead. After this incident, Pippa spends a long time grieving Thomas's loss, leads a sad life, and considers herself entirely to blame for these events. Sometime later, he sees Sebastian's opening ceremony on Poster Street and decides to go there with Ariana. At the opening ceremony, Sebastian thanks her for attending the ceremony and asks her to enjoy the ceremony. Sebastian starts talking about his new project and invites the love of his life, Julia, to explain the details of the project to the audience. In disbelief, Julia is wholly healthy, and it turns out that their new project is entirely related to Pippa and Thomas. Julia and Sebastian explain that Pippa and Thomas were illegally spying on them, unaware that the cameras recorded all their moves in the house. Julia tells the audience the whole story of Pippa's life and considers her actions as the main reason for Thomas's death. Pippa realizes that all their work is a trick, and they take advantage of her. And she quickly leaves and goes to the house, but decides to go to Sebastian's place first. She enters the attic room and realizes that Sebastian and Julia have recorded every moment of their presence in the house. Pippa crushes all the things and tears the pictures, and cries. The next day, Pippa has to evacuate the home and leave Montreal. She is packing up the house. After emptying the drink into the bird's water tank, she notices some dead birds under the window, and a few seconds later, she meets Julia, who says goodbye. Sebastian and Julia interviewed a magazine about their idea to create the second season of a gallery of pictures of the neighbors who spy in their lives and show a different role each season. At the end of the interview, Sebastian shows nervous behavior and leaves the magazine office with Julia. They take the gift sent by their fans home with them. After a drink, they talk about Sebastian's guilt. When Sebastian questions Julia about her lack of shame, Julia replies that she has no responsibility for Thomas's death and blames the killer they were humiliated in the ceremony. The printer starts printing paper again, and Pippa talks to them and says she knows everything and is sure that Thomas didn't commit suicide and they murdered him. Sebastian and Julia notice Pippa's presence and go after her to stop her. Pippa runs to her workplace and tries to prevent them from entering but fails. Pippa explains that she knows that Julia poisoned Thomas and made the crime look like suicide. Pippa says they played her and they are the real culprits of Thomas's death. Julia still tries to pretend innocent and considers these words as Pippa's hallucinations, but suddenly she faints. Pippa tells Sebastian, the drink was her gift and poisoned them and asks Sebastian to look at her face one last time because it will be the last thing he sees. Pippa takes them under the machine and blinds them with ophthalmic equipment so that they will miss their next project and not be able to ruin someone else's life. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification, so you can watch more videos like this.